When it comes to teaching our dogs obedience positions, I always like to start by teaching my dog a hand target. This can be really helpful for many, many reasons, um, including um, confidence building, the desire to be close to me, but also assisting with a stand behavior. So I am going, that's what we're gonna learn today is a hand target. One of the, this is a really honestly one of the games I like to play like when I'm waiting in a vet's office because it keeps my dog engaged with me and they're moving around, they're moving their body. So they're not focusing as much on the what ifs or what's coming up that some dogs get fearful when it comes to the vets. So I really like this game for that reason in specific. All you really don't need anything for this game except your hands and some food. Um, you can also use some type of target. So like here's a coaster, you could use a coaster that you want them to, um, to target with their nose. Um, but I really just like using my hand because it's easy. I always have them with me. Um, and then you just need your dog. So I have Mufasa here with me. He was just rolling around in some grass, so he's got some grass on his back. But um, this is all we're gonna do. I'm gonna present my hand. If he interacts with it in any way, sniffing, licking, any anything, then I'm going to mark it with my yes, and then I'm going to treat the hand that he's targeting. So, yes. Yes. Another thing you can do to kind of keep their nose there and to make sure that um, the duration kind of builds is you could bait your hand. So yes, get in there a little bit faster when, while their nose is already touching your hand type of thing. Um, yes, a couple of trainers that I work with really like doing that aspect of things. So I can just bait my hand with a few pieces of kibble. Yes, good boy. Yes. Yes. And I don't know if you saw there, if it was, if you were able to see the little bit of detail. Um, Mufasa kind of leaned towards my hand, but never touched it. And then was asking, was basically looking at my, oh, this hand, expecting a treat, but he never touched my target hand. So I'm not going to reward that. Yes, good boy. You also, yes, good. You also want to make sure you're using both hands. We don't want a dog who only targets one hand and not necessarily the other. So we're gonna work on, yes, the other hand as well. Yes. Something else I do want to mention is I am taking my hand away. Yes. Every time he, um, I'm not asking for the behavior. That way, if my hand sticks out here, he could end up ignoring it or, yes, um, it's, it's less valuable if it's, always there, always available. So we wanna make sure it's super valuable, something exciting, something that they actually want to do. So I always take my hand away whenever they are, whenever they take their treat and then I represent it to them. Yes, that, was, that wasn't a great one, but I will take it. And in the beginning, that's exactly what you wanna do is you wanna take anything and everything that you can get. Um, you don't want it to be so specific that the dog gives up. As time goes on and they progress, you can start to get a little bit more nitpicky slowly and at your dog's pace, but you don't want to go all or nothing, basically. Yes. And then you can start to vary the height at which you are presenting your hand touch. Yes. 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 Yes, good boy. Yes. Good boy. So there I went higher and then you can even go lower. Yes. If your dog knows a shake command or a paw, 
then this would probably end up confusing them. So I wouldn't necessarily yes. go lower. Yes, good boy. Yes, good job, Moo. Yes. Good boy. The last thing I also want to mention, and it's simply because I caught myself doing it, sometimes you, can, you will notice or you will bring your hand to your dog's nose. You want to try to avoid that as much as possible. So you want to try and keep your hand still so that the dog comes to you, not you coming to the dog. Yeah, right? I know. Um, some dogs don't like that pressure. Mufasa is definitely one of those dogs who does not like the pressure of me coming into his space. So if anything, I will bring my hand away, but you really want to try your best to keep it still. Yes. One thing that you can do to help keep it still or test yourself to see if you are moving your hand towards your dog is to put your target on your leg. Yes. If your hand leaves your leg, then you know you're pushing, you're pushing the hand into your dog and your dog isn't coming fully to you. So I really like that um, method of um, kind of checking yourself. Well, that's, a touch. well, that's not it, you goofball. Touch. Yes, good boy. And then if you desire, you can end up putting it on a verbal cue, but sometimes just the um, hand motion is enough of a cue. I've put it on cue for Mufasa for no reason, really. Um, touch. Yes. But there are so many things that you can end up doing with this, and I really like this as a good place for our stamp command. Um, next week, I will post our obedience positions all in one video. Um, I have them separated, but we'll make, I'll make one so it's easy for you guys to find all of them in one spot. And then, um, yeah, start with the nose touch, kind of build it from there, and we will keep progressing this. I hope you have a great day, guys, and keep on training.